Hello, 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 everyone. My name is Mason Mags, and today I'm here with the Crompotch Riddle. Monster Vi- I mean, uh, Monster Springs is a fictional place filled with friendly monsters. It has rules and scientific principles that differ from Earth's. Even its inhabitants are a little abnormal. Our story takes place in Monster Springs. It's time for a matchup of strategy. Two Monster Springs residents, Oscar Ocular and Zoe O'Brain, are about to go head to head in a game of Crompotch. What is Crompotch, you may ask? It's the Monster Springs variation of chess. Like normal chess, it's played on an 8x8 board. But in this game, each side gets eight pieces called guard pieces. And each side gets two kings, arranged like so. Now, I bet you're wondering what these guard pieces are exactly. Well, the kings move like they do in normal chess, one space in any direction. But the guards, they can move either one space diagonally, or they can hop over one adjacent space. Think of it like a diamond surrounding each guard. This guard can move to any of the highlighted spaces. Here are the rules of Crompotch. Players take turns moving one piece at a time. Any piece can capture any enemy piece. To win the game, you must either capture and or checkmate both enemy kings, or capture and or checkmate all enemy guards. Yep, that's right. Two ways you can win. Also, each player gets one revival move, which is when you respawn a fallen guard next to either king. Yep, that's right. You're bringing a guard back into play. However, this move counts as one turn. And with that, the match begins. Oscar is white, Zoe is black. White makes the first move. After a series of turns later, the brilliant Dr. Tom Tentacles walks in, and the following conversation takes place. Ah, playing a game of Crompotch, are we now? Why, yes, indeed we are. How long have you been playing, might I ask? We just finished our sixth turn. After that, Tom examines the game board, which is in the current position. After a thorough analysis of the game board, Tom says, I highly recommend you stop the game here, for it's quite obvious that one of you has cheated. How did Tom know someone cheated? The key here is that the guards can only move on one color. This is an example of retrograde analysis a type of chess logic that involves looking into the past for answers. Where do you start with retrograde analysis? Well, a good place to start is to look for things that are out of the ordinary. One thing you may notice is that black currently has five guards on black squares, but they started with four. But don't immediately suspect cheating. Black may have already used its revival move to revive a guard that was formerly on white on a black square. If it was any guard, it would have to be the one that was originally here, because it's the only guard that's missing. Okay, so we got that sorted out. What else is out of the ordinary? You may notice that white is missing one of its kings. Here's a question for you. On what color square was that king captured? Ah, you see what I'm getting at here? The most likely scenario is that that king was captured by the guard that was formerly here. But here's the thing. Given that this is a revival, and given these three guards here, all of this shows four moves. So the guard that was here 
would have had to have captured the White King in just two moves. The closest that this guard could have gotten to the White King in two moves is represented by these two squares. Could the White King have gotten to either of those squares? Well, given this guard here, this guard that originally started here, and this guard here, which all together represents four moves, the White King would have had two moves to get to one of these squares. It would take at least three moves to get to this square, but as for this square, it can get there in two moves, but don't forget, this guard originally started here, blocking the king's path. So that guard would have had to move first to unblock the king's path. But this would leave no extra moves to capture the enemy guard. So what does this mean? It means that there's no possible way white could have gotten its king out far enough to be captured and then capture that enemy piece. That is how Tom knew someone cheated. Thank you so much for playing and watching. Today's quote of the day is from me, Mason Mags. Crompotch. It is the game of strategy, skill, and color. Until next time. Later.